Melissa Danagellis with Discovery News here on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. for the fourth solar decathlon. I'm really excited about seeing how these houses perform on a day like today. I'm also excited about seeing the, the weird and wacky stuff that they've got in store. It looks like it dropped down from the future and it looks like aliens live here. Oh, there's a secret now. Hi. So, so come in. What's the coolest tech? There are several actually. Oh, all okay. Right. Well, this is our building automation system. We have the external temperature, we have the internal temperature, and we see also uh, like a balance of how much power we gain right now and how much we use. What does this mean? It's like is this red. good or bad? That's bad. Or oh, that's just say okay, we don't produce anything right now. Is it least. because of the weather? Exactly. What you're seeing here is the culmination of just about two years worth of hard work. Uh, to put together what we like to call a silo house. What's, uh, what do you consider one of the coolest uh, pieces of technology? Um... We've got these really nice smart breakers where you're able to see uh, exactly how much energy each one is pulling uh, and then change that completely on the fly. Additionally, we're able to access all of those remotely and so from across the world see how much energy your house is producing, how much it's using, and then do things like turn on off the lights. Uh, this is uh, an eco-design television. It saves up to about 55% of the power that a television its size normally would. This whole piece actually slides out uh, to reveal the, uh, the magnetic induction stove here. One of the key features here in the kitchen, of course, and all throughout the house are these, uh, these beautiful LED lights. Uh, a rack of eight of them uh, is equal to the amount of power consumption that one compact fluorescent would produce. This is Project Refract House from Team California. We brought the lighting and the power and the HVAC all together under one system. And you can actually control all of this um, from a web interface or from your iPhone. And you can really use this data to really kind of change your lifestyle if you really want to. This is just the standard water heater. But you know, what we decided to do is show that yes, you can have a standard water heater, but you can choose not to use the very inefficient electric heating element. Instead, you can buy um, a hot water heat pump. It really shouldn't be, you know, alien. We're not trying to use, you know, fancy new technologies that, you know, that, you know, are space ages, you know, uh, past anything that you could go out and buy. We really try to use things that you can actually implement in your home. 